Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to this week's hashtag Spill the Beans. I'm going to make sure that I am on the correct link right quick. Right quick, right quick, right quick. I'll pull it up this way. Yes, we are. Spectacular. It gave me a weird warning when we got here. Let's go live on the Instagrams and then we will get started. Hey, hi, hello. Welcome back. We're doing Solar Plexus Chakra Daily Boost as we do every Tuesday, my friends, every single Tuesday. Uh, the affirmation or mantra of the day is I do. You can start filling up the comments uh, over on Instagram, YouTube, or when you're watching this later on Substack or even on the Spotify if you're listening to the podcast uh, or the YouTube, et cetera, et cetera. Um, with what do you do? I do. I do log my hours. I do work. I do sing. I do make music. I do make art. I do activism. I do branding. I do creation. My hair is wackadoodle today, so apologies, y'all. Uh, I could be playing with it. Anyway, all right. This, like I said, solar plexus boost with Love and Action Network. Love and Action Network is a peer support organization where we encourage, equip, and empower you to put your love in action and follow your dreams to make the world a more livable, liberated place. Livable, liberated place. I like that. Livable, liberated. Our CEP is at Andre in the flow. You can find him on all platforms at that handle. And we also have another practitioner, his manager, Poppy Water 33. You can find him again on all platforms at Poppy Water 33, as well as House of Mommy Water uh, platforms, which are HMW underscore magazine. I do believe. Okay. Let's get going. We're going to read a Black Liturgies, then we'll move into the Melody BD, and then lastly, we will close with some reflection questions. If you are here with me on the YouTubies, I don't know who you are unless you say hello. So you have to say hello to me on the YouTubies, okay? Uh, also, share this out with your friends if you feel so called to do so. All right, here we go, Black Liturgies. The caption says, breathe, period. First slide. And I cried for all of the women who stretched their bodies for civilizations to find ruins. Sonia Sanchez. Jeez. Oh, I don't have to live up to that superwoman myth. I can cry and be human and lean on people who take care of me. That can be very liberating. Asada Shakur. This one repeats, but I'm going to read all three of them. You don't owe them all of you. Your boundaries are holy ground. You don't owe them all of you. Your boundaries are holy ground. You don't owe them all of you. Your boundaries are holy ground. Breathe with me. Inhale. I was meant for more than giving. Exhale. I am free to receive. One more time. Inhale. I was meant for more than giving. Exhale. I am free to receive. Next slide. Inhale. I am doing my best. Exhale. I've given enough. Inhale. I am doing my best. Exhale. I've given enough. Very good, very good, very good. All right, let's go to the 52 Weeks of Conscious Contact with Melody Beatty. We are on week 41, y'all. It is weathering the storms. I believe we are doing day three. Um, so let's get into it. Guilt is part of grief. Often when a storm comes up, it involves a loss. It may be the loss of security, friendship, or a job. When losses occur, we may immediately think, I had this coming because of the things I've done. I deserve this. Then we go over all the things we still feel guilty about. Worse yet, when we then fail to take our to take proactive steps to improve whatever problem we're faced with. We wouldn't stand outside and let it hail on us, thinking we caused the storm or it was punishment for something we've done. Or maybe we would. 
Storms are challenging enough to survive. Don't make them worse by torturing yourself. Unless you're getting fired from your job for not showing up for work, in which case it's a consequence created by your actions. You don't deserve it as punishment. Some people sit and watch the Weather Channel hoping for a storm system to appear. We can get so bored or so used to fighting storms that we hope one comes along to divert us from our lives. It can be challenging to determine which storms we're creating and which ones we're not. The challenge of the week says, the hardest thing about weathering storms can be that many of us don't know how to protect ourselves. It's okay to put on our rain gear, and sometimes it's good to come out of the rain. Come in out of the rain. Come on in out of the rain. Yeah. It's a cue. You know me. You love me. <laughs> We're going to get kicked off um, Jim Call It because I'm copywriting. Okay. Uh, what's next? What did I tell y'all? Daily Boost. Daily Boost. Solar Plexus Chakra. All right. Reflection questions. The top of this says, reflecting on the solar plexus chakra, also known as money pure chakra, involves exploring aspects of personal power, self-esteem, and inner strength. Here are some questions to consider. Self-worth and confidence. How do I feel about myself and my abilities? Where are my greatest accomplishments and how do they make me feel? In what areas of my life do I lack confidence? And how do I handle criticism and failure? I'll read them one more time. Y'all answer them in the comments if you feel so called to. I may answer a couple of these as I go, okay? And then we're going to be out of here. How do I feel about myself and my abilities? Today, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling like I'm getting caught up. And then suddenly, I'm not caught up. But I know that I can get it done. I can handle this. I am. I can. I will. What are my biggest accomplishments and how do they make me feel? Uh, being able to get asked to do things without ever like, like people remember me for a long time. That's one of my greatest accomplishments. Um, and also just staying true to my mission and staying true to my beliefs. It's a great accomplishment for me and my child, but like, I don't think we're talking about that here. Mayhaps we are. In what areas of my life do I lack confidence? Uh, I feel like I lack confidence in follow through, um, in, and, and marketing. I don't think I'm bad at marketing because I market other people. I just think I'm bad at committing to marketing myself in a way that would pop everything wide open. How do I handle criticism and failure? I talk to my friends, I see who that is coming from, and then I evaluate why they are saying it to me uh, in that way. Okay, guess what, y'all? That is all for today. Thank you for being with me. I will be right back here tomorrow, same place, same time. Uh, also, if you're on the Substack and Spotify, you will see me, you will hear me again tomorrow. Uh, and then Dr. Flo will be back on Thursday. I'll be back on Friday. And then Dr. Flo is handling the weekend so I can go have some family time. We will also be bringing you a deconstruction junction on Friday. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, that's all. Continue to be anti-racist. Be safe. Wear a mask. Make good trouble. Do good work. I love y'all hardcore. You are loved and lovable. And ain't nobody can change that. Check us out and all of our needs and seeds as well as applications over on lovedandlovable.bio.link. If you would like to bring the Love Experience Christmas Edition to a town near year to to a town near you, feel free to live chat us there and we will see you next time.